Cutie marks. You know them and I know them. But what is it that we really know about them? And how do they work? Well, I think I finally solved the science of cutie marks. Let's set the bar really high this time and go for, say, 10 likes on the video. Anyway, let's get started. To figure out how cutie marks work, we need to first take a deep dive into what DNA is and how it works. Mainly because DNA is the key. Well, sort of. Everyone has the same basic DNA structure that makes up who we are, but it's what DNA makes that really matters here. Because when multiple DNA strands come together, they create genes. Genes are basically what makes you you, and they consist of a set of chromosomes, one set for your mom, one set from your dad. This gives you your traits, who you are, and what you look like. But how does this translate to cutie marks? Well, the same principle can be applied to cutie marks since most parents in MLP typically have a similar cutie mark to that of their kids, which explains why the cutie marks of relatives typically look alike. I mean, just look at the Apple family or even Twilight's family. But like anything with DNA, there are bound to be mutations, like Pinkie Pie. But what you really want to know is how do they just appear on a pony's flank, right? Well, you remember when you first hit puberty and then you started to grow a little bit each year? Well, that's because your body started to produce a protein that flipped that growth hormone switch on. And cutie marks work in a similar way. When a pony discovers their special talent, a special protein is released from their bodies, which causes the same switch to be flipped from off to on, getting the cutie mark to appear. It seems to work similarly to puberty, and this is even backed up by a cute senera. A cute senera is a celebration every time a pony gets their cutie mark, since Diamond Tiara, Zephyr Will, and even the cutie mark crusaders all got one after receiving their cutie marks. But this only happens when they're fillies. Whereas on Earth, a cute senera is celebrated when someone becomes an adult, but a filly isn't a full grown pony. So it seems like it's more to just say that they reached puberty. So yeah. That's how cutie marks works using the basics of science, and it turns out that it's also a sign that a pony's reached puberty. But what do you think? Do you think I'm right about this, or do you think I'm wrong? And let me know when your OC got their cutie mark in the comments section below. Also, a quick announcement, as I'm sure you can probably tell from my voice, I am beyond exhausted. So there won't be another video for the next two weeks. That way I can get a break, rest, and even work on the Pokemon game that I've been working on with people in my Discord server. Plus, it'll give me a chance to make some new theories ahead of time. So keep an eye out for that, and subscribe today to join the rest of the Strikers, and until next time, I'm Windstriker, flying off until two weeks from now. Hoof to heart, everyone. I also want to give a special thanks to all of my patrons, especially my investigator tier patrons, Skarmix, Princess Sammy, Trailblazer. You're all really amazing. Later. Who's